Algebra 1, multiplication property of inequalities, we're at 4.3. We can solve inequalities by using the multiplication property of inequalities. We have this inequality, 3 is less than 7. This inequality is true, and if we multiply both sides of this inequality by a positive 2, it's still true. We'll have 6 is less than 14. But if we multiply both sides of this inequality by a negative 2, we get a false inequality. We get negative 6 is less than negative 17. That's not true. Negative 6 is closer to 0. It's greater than negative 17. And if we multiply both sides by a negative and reverse the inequality symbol, then it will be true. We'd have negative 6 is greater than negative 14. And that's going to bring us to the multiplication property of inequalities. The multiplication property of inequalities tells us for all rational numbers, a, b, c, where c is positive, if a is less than b, then if we multiply a times c, it will be less than b times c. And if a is greater than b, then a times c will be greater than b times c. But when c is negative, if a is less than b, then a times c is going to be greater than b times c. See how the sign got reversed? And if a is greater than b, then a times c will be less than b times c. So it got reversed again. So either less than or greater than, when we multiply by a negative, we're going to reverse the symbol. We can solve this inequality and graph the solution on a number line. We have 4x is less than 28. We multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 4 as 1 fourth. We get 4 fourths is 4 fourths x is less than 28 fourths, which simplifies to x is less than 7. We graph it on our number line. Remember, the open circle means it's not included. So if x is less than 7, it doesn't include 7. It has to be less than it. It could be 6.999. It just can't be 7. So we put our open circle on the 7, and we have our arrow pointing to the numbers that are smaller than 7. And we can check to see if the computation is correct for x is equal to 28. So we put an equal sign here. We use 7, and we get 4 times 7 is 28. That's true. 28 is equal to 28. So any number less than 7 is a solution. We can even check the inequality symbol and put any number that's less than 7 here. 4 times 2, that would be 8. That's less than 28. So that's true. So we know we've got the correct inequality symbol. We can solve this inequality and graph the solution on a number line. We've got a negative 2y is less than 18. We multiply both sides by the reciprocal of negative 2 as a negative half. So remember, when you're doing your reciprocals, it takes the sign. So we have a negative half. We multiply both sides. Negative times a negative, we get a positive 2 over 2. y is greater than negative 18 halves. So we reverse the symbol because we're multiplying by a negative. Now it's greater than. We simplify this and get y is greater than negative 9. Because it's greater than negative 9, it doesn't include negative 9. So we put an open circle, and we make our graph show all the numbers greater than negative 9 heading towards 0. We can check it by using this negative 9 and equal signs. Negative 2y is equal to 18. We do negative 2 times negative 9 for the y, and we get 18 is equal to 18, which is true. And we can check the inequality symbol by choosing any number greater than negative 9. Negative 2y is less than 18, and we can even use 0. That's greater than negative 9. We get 0 is less than 18, which is true. So we know our inequality symbol was true. We used the original equation before the symbol was changed, and 
we checked the inequality symbol. Here we have negative 3x is greater than or equal to 5 6. We multiply both sides by the reciprocal of negative 3 as a negative 1 3rd. Again, remember the reciprocal takes the sign, so it's a negative 1 3rd. We multiply a negative times a negative and we get a positive 3 thirds x. And we reverse the symbol because we're multiplying by that negative. And on this side, we get a negative 5 18 So we know x is less than or equal to negative 5 18 Because it's or equal to, we're going to use a filled in dot because it could be negative 5 18 And any number less than or equal to negative 5 18 is a solution. So we can graph it on the number line heading into the negatives. Here we've got negative 5 6 y is less than or equal to negative 3 fourths. We multiply both sides of the reciprocal of negative 5 6 as negative 6 fifths. Negative times a negative, we get a positive 30 thirtieths y. And we have reversed the sign because we're multiplying by a negative. So now it's greater than or equal to and we get a positive 18 20ths, which simplifies to 9 tenths. So we know y is greater than or equal to 9 tenths. And again, because it's or equal to, that means it could be 9 tenths. So we have a filled in dot and showing on our number line all the values that would be greater than 9 tenths. So remember, when multiplying both sides of an inequality by a negative, we switch the direction of the sign to make the inequality true. You can check this video's description for links to any previous videos, the Algebra 1 playlists, etc. So basically, the only thing you should be taking away from this video is if you're multiplying both sides of that inequality by a negative, you're going to want to switch the sign. Even if it's an or equal to, we're going to switch the sign when multiplying by a negative. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.